So many people ask me that, hey Sachin, how to get unlimited energy on a Blink application? And well, in this video, I'm going to show you a technique to get unlimited Blink energy and that technique is called as local Blink server. Yes, in this video, I will let you know the simplest technique like within a couple of steps, you can establish your own local Blink server on a Raspberry Pi board and get unlimited Blink energy. So if you're interested in this, just stick around and let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, if I tell you one very interesting feature of this software, then here in LTM designer, you can design rigid flex PCB. Now, what is that? So till now, you must have designed the PCB, which has like rigid, like solid PCBs that we are not able to bend. But here in LTM, you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid, solid, and some of the parts are flexible, which can bend and the PCB can, you know, uh, we can bend it in a twofold manner, just like the modern day smartphone, right? So this is a really very interesting, useful and unique feature of the software. Well, you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on the link, you'll get access to the free trial version of this software. So go ahead, try the free trial version of LTM designer software. So let's start with this video. So first of all, open up the Raspberry Pi window. So here's my Raspberry Pi board and I open up the terminal here. So now you need to enter a couple of commands. So let's see which command we need to enter the first. So first command which you need to enter is this command, which will be installing Java onto your Raspberry Pi board. Okay, I'll paste that command here. I'll type enter and it will start downloading. As I have already downloaded, it didn't take much time, but in your case, it will take a bit time if you haven't it in install it yet okay after first uh, command you need to type this command which will download the blink server dot jar file i'll paste that command here press enter okay so it has started downloading the blink jar file the server file it is downloading on my system okay Okay, so the Blink server file is successfully downloaded. Now we are just left with starting the server. But still, before that, let me just tell you one thing. We all have used Blink server, like those who are watching this video has, of course, used the Blink server. And then, uh, so that's why they are, you know, trying to make the local server. So in our Blink based projects, we all remember that as soon as we create a new Blink project, we get a mail from the Blink side, uh, which contains our authentication token. So each project has a new authenticated token. We get the mail all the time. Okay. But what about the authentication token in this local Blink server? This is not communicating with the cloud. So how we can get the mail for that we need to create a mail property file in which we need to provide our email ID and password through which we'll be getting that authentication token. Okay. So how to do that? Let me guide you for that as well. So first of all, open up the files. Now you need to go to the folder where this uh, server jar file is being downloaded. So generally it's inside home slash pi. Okay. So here, as you can see, the server jar file is downloaded here. Now here you have to create a new file, create new empty file and name this file as mail dot properties. Okay. <clears throat> as I already have that file in this folder. So it says uh, uh, we can't uh, do that as file still exists here. Okay. So here's that mail dot properties file. Now inside this file, you need to paste couple of lines. Okay. So here are those steps. You need to copy this much line. Okay. And open up this mail dot properties file and you need to paste all those lines here. Now there are two changes that you need to make in this particular file, which is the username and password. The username you have to type the email address from which you are expecting to get the authentication token. Okay. And you also need to provide the password of that particular email ID. Okay. Yes, you need to provide that. And by providing these two credentials, you will be getting the uh, authentication token from mail. Okay. Now, one thing I'll suggest to you is for this purpose, you better create a new email ID. Why? It's just because this account uh, will become a less secure because we are going to make it less secure by doing one single step. Okay. So I suggest you to create a new email ID so that uh, uh, there are no chances of, you know, anyone hacking into your like important email ID. Okay. So I have created a new email ID for this purpose, which says blink for techies at gmail.com. Okay. So you also create a new file. So as I already said, 
we will we will be you know making this account a bit less secure now how we'll be able to do that now for that you have to go to one link which is mentioned in the description and that will open up this particular page on your system okay so you need to click on allow less secure apps you need to turn it on so when you turn it on it will be giving access to that blink local server to send the emails okay and this step is really very mandatory and as soon as you do this your account becomes a bit less secure and that's why i suggest you to create a new account okay that's it this this is all about uh, uh, the steps you need to follow to make your own Blink local server. After that, just save this file. Okay, file. Okay, that's already saved. That's why. Okay, no problem. I have successfully saved this file, and now we are good to go to run our Blink server. So, how to run our Blink server? Now, for that, we have one command which is this. So, as soon as we enter this command, let's just let's enter it. It will start running the Blink server on the Raspberry Pi board. Okay. Okay, as you can see, it says Blink server successfully started. All server output is stored in this particular file. Okay, uh, that's not an issue. But the first line says Blink server started successfully. Now here is one single problem. So every time we need to start the Blink server, we need to type and run this particular line or this particular command. Then only it will start running. So, but this is not uh, you can say feasible or practical option. So what we'll do, we'll be making this line or making this command uh, to be executed as soon as our Raspberry Pi boots up. Okay. Now how to do that? For that, first of all, we will be stopping this server. I'll press Control C. Okay. So now the command to be entered is this. First of all, you need to open cron tap hyphen E. I'll type that command here. Okay, it will open up a text editor file. So just go to the last line of this text editor file and here you just need to copy and paste this particular line. Don't worry, I'll be attaching all this line, all this command in one article whose link you can find in the description of this video. Okay, so I have pasted that line here and now I'll just save this file by pressing Ctrl X then Y. And that's it, we are done with this. Now what I'll do, I'll just reboot this system and let's see if the Blink server starts or not. Let me just type the command sudo reboot. Okay, so our Raspberry Pi board got booted up again. Now how to check if the Blink server is running or not? For that, just open up the Blink, uh, sorry, web browser. And just type the IP address 127.0.1.1 hyphen 9443 slash admin, okay? Okay, so he says your connection is not private. You don't need to worry. Just click on proceed to like open up this page. Okay, so my Blink uh, admin page opened up successfully. That means the Blink server is running successfully on my Raspberry Pi board. Now to access the admin page, you need to type that email ID, which is admin at the blink.cc. Now this is the default ID and the password is admin. Okay, click on the sign in button. And here is the dashboard using which you can control all the things like you can just you know, monitor all the users, uh, their projects, their energies and all the things you can monitor here. Okay. So when I click on users, as of now, I do have only one single user, which is admin as uh, I haven't registered any account in this local Blink server. So we are done with all the steps on our Raspberry Pi board. Now we just need to move on to our uh, smartphone and let's configure the Blink application on the smartphone. So here I'll open up the Blink application. Now first thing which you need to be very sure about is your smartphone and your Raspberry Pi board on which the Blink server is running should be connected to the single Wi-Fi router as this is all happening in the local area connection only. And also the device which you will be connecting uh, using this Blink application should also be connected with the same Wi-Fi router. Okay, so first of all, just click on create new account. And this time, uh, before entering the email ID and password, just click on this traffic light kind of icon here. Okay, so here it is now a switch to blink mode. Now I'll switch it to custom mode, which is used for the local server. Now here you need to provide the local IP address of your Raspberry Pi board on which that blink server is running, which in my case is 192.168.15.95. And the port will remain same, which is 9443. This is the port on which this blink communication is happening. Okay, so this is the thing. Just click on the OK button. And now you're ready to register your account. So here, first of all, uh, type the email ID. Uh, I will type my email ID. Now it should not be that same email ID, which you have entered in that blink mail properties. It should be any random email ID on which you will be receiving that authentic authentication token. Okay. I'll type my email ID here and I will, okay. And I will set the password as one, two, three, four. No problem. Just create on, uh, click on create a new account. Okay. Uh, the new account is created. Now I will create a new project. I'll tap on the new project. I'll give the project name as, uh, my first project. 
it will be ESP266. Let us select the Node MCU board. Uh, just let us try to turn on and off the LED on the Node MCU board with this local Blink project. Connection type is Wi-Fi. That's it. Click on New Project. So it says the authentication token is sent. The UI, the animations, and everything is quite similar that we were using in the Blink Cloud Server. Okay, just click on OK. So we have successfully created a new project. I'll quickly add a button here. As you can see, hey, wait, wait, hey, you can see the energy is right now one lakh, like it's 100,000 energy. And we can uh, change this energy from that admin panel as well. It is not limited to one lakh like or 100,000 energies. We can change this energy further, okay? So <laughs> you got the unlimited energies. Let's unlimited power you got on your playing cap. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll quickly add a button here and I will uh, name it as LED. I'll change the pin as digital pin D4 and data always zero one. That's it. Click on OK. OK. So we have successfully completed all this Blink app uh, uh, configuration. And in the meanwhile, I also got the mail, uh, which is from Blink for Tech SMS. Okay, as you can see, Blink for Tech SMS was the mail ID which I provided in the mail properties. I received the mail from that on the email ID which I have registered in this Blink local server, and the and this email contains the authentication token of course okay which is really very important while writing the code for it okay so everything is pretty same everything is working completely fine now let's just see on the admin panel side and uh, let's see if this user appears or not and after that i will just upload a sample code and see if this project is working or not <coughs> okay so here is the admin panel i'll quickly refresh this page as you can see one new user appeared here which is sachin sms 1990 which was my email id which i have registered right now and the number of project is one as i have created one project here okay I think I can even see what project uh, uh, that particular uh, user has created. Let me just uh, go inside this user only. Okay, as you can see, the user has created a new project called My First Project, which is the name of that particular project. So every data we get on this admin panel, and not only that, we can even increase or decrease the energy from here. As of now, the energy is 99800. I can change it to one lakh if i want so this is how you can get the unlimited energy for your projects so yeah admin panels were perfectly working now i'll quickly upload a demo code onto my node mcu board and let us see this project in action So as you can see, I'm able to control the built-in LED on my Node MCU board using the Blink app on my smartphone and this is happening using the local Blink server or running on my Raspberry Pi board. Isn't this amazing? And yes, you also got that unlimited Blink energies, that unlimited Blink energy power you got, okay? So that's about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to learn something new from it and I hope you uh, got the answer about how to get those unlimited energies. If you were getting help with this video, if you're getting help from this video, consider liking this video and also comment below your suggestion your feedback your thoughts and what new projects you want from this particular uh, tech sms channel do let me know your suggestions in the comments and that being said ending this video here and now just wait for my student explore learn share with me tech sms <laughs>